Live-action Cowboy Bebop has been a bit of a disaster so far. Leading up to the release, we saw outfits being toned down, missing main characters from teasers and trailers. We saw Faye's actress Daniela Pineda attack fans who simply wanted Faye in an anime-accurate outfit, and unfortunately, we didn't get that, so of course people were really upset that they changed around how she looked, but also how she acted. And now, Pineda has decided to attack Cowboy Bebop fans yet again. Again, I have a couple of different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or supporting via membership. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So I wanted to start off with this Cosmic Book News article, and it says Daniela Pineda calls Cowboy Bebop fans trolls. Now, unfortunately, we see this happen a lot, whether it's actors and actresses, or it's directors or producers. We see people attack fans of franchises a lot. They cannot accept the fact that sometimes they release content that people don't like, and we end up with situations like this where people uh, end up attacking fans who simply wanted accuracy in shows. Daniela Pineda is someone who has attacked Cowboy Cowboy Bebop fans in the past. This is an article from a couple of months ago. It says uh, she posted a now deleted video on social media, which thanks to the internet has been saved where she criticizes fans who don't like the look of Faye Valentine. I know personally as a fan of Cowboy Bebop, the original Cowboy Bebop, I should say, um, I'm not impressed with Faye's new look, with Faye's new attitude, with Faye in general in the live action. And I think that it's perfectly fine if people don't like her. But of course, Daniela Pineda cannot accept the fact that people do not like this new spin on Faye. She had said, hey guys, so as you know, our Cowboy Bebop first look dropped, which was so exciting, and I just wanted to address a couple of things that sort of keep coming up in the comments amongst fans. First, I wanted to apologize to the fans that I did not anatomically match the Faye Valentine character. Six foot, double D sized breasts, two inch waist, you know, they looked everywhere for that woman and they couldn't find her. And of course, when she said this a couple of months ago, she ended up getting roasted across the internet because she says things like Faye was six foot, a double D, which is not true. Faye actually was five six, the same height as Daniela Pineda. She doesn't even know the character she's supposed to be playing. She acts all high and mighty like, oh, you know, this is the direction we're taking it in. And if you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. And people have watched it now that it's released and people don't like it still. But going back to the initial article, it says following the first look images where Daniela Pineda was revealed to look nothing like her character, Faye Valentine, fans reacted and didn't like what they saw for obvious reasons. Now speaking with Deadline, though, Daniela Pineda is asked about that response and calls the fans trolls. We see this happen time and time again. Actors, producers, uh, directors, whoever, end up attacking fans, saying, oh, you're just a hater if you don't like this new spin on a franchise or a new spin on a character, yet they expect us to continue to watch the garbage TV shows, movies, products that they release, which is absolutely ridiculous. But of course, she said, it was definitely my first interaction with very, very vocal trolls. Social media gives access to pretty much anyone who wants to say anything. Although I feel like some people would be disheartened, I found a way to clap back. With that video that I gave, which was very cheeky and silly, rather than stay quiet, which is uh, usually what everybody wants you to do, I just felt so inclined to say something. I felt like that response was definitely in the spirit of Faye. Also, I got Steve Bloom's uh, blessing, the voice of Spike, who backed me up, and I was like, all right, guys, I don't care what you say. If that guy backs me up, no one can say anything. Oh my gosh, give Daniela Pineda a golden star, everyone, because she put out a sarcastic video on Instagram clapping back at the haters. I mean, seriously. She acts like she wants a pat on the back and a good job Daniela. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. She doesn't even respect, okay, the fans that she expects to watch the show, to give it good reviews. She doesn't care because she is writing off anyone who had 
any criticisms on their new spin for Cowboy Bebop as a vocal troll, which is ridiculous. I hate when actresses and directors and even companies do this. People are allowed to dislike a show if they want, and a company and an actress shouldn't be attacking people over it. They're disregarding criticism as hate, and it's not that simple. Criticism isn't a bad thing, it means that people care about the show or movie in question, but of course they just write it off as hate, which is ridiculous, and it's really disgusting to act this way towards fans. Yes, there's definitely trolls out there, and there's definitely people who make comments on social media just to hate on things, but most of the backlash that she faced was from real Cowboy Bebop fans who simply wanted accuracy in the show. But of course, Deadline tried to spin things in Daniela Pineda's favor and tries to spin it that her video helped change some of the fans' minds about Faye Valentine, which I think isn't true. Um, they provide no evidence of this, of course. They provide no screenshots, no tweets, no messages, no nothing to back up their claims, and she has faced a ton of backlash over the past few months, let's be honest. Um, there are a lot of people who are not impressed with the Faye Valentine character that were not impressed with the first looks, and I haven't seen anyone say, oh my goodness, that video, it just made me change my mind about her, so I don't really believe that that happened. And of course, people don't just dislike Daniela Pineda simply because she's not in an accurate outfit, but because of her sheer hypocrisy. This was a tweet I put out back in August. It says, Daniela Pineda attacked Cowboy Bebop fans expecting a half-decent outfit for live-action Faye, talking about how an outfit closer to her original one would have been paper-thin and you couldn't move around in it, yet she's literally worn outfits like this in the past. And also, if you watch Cowboy Bebop now that it's out, they've got her in an extremely revealing dress, a nice red dress, and I don't have any problems with the dress itself, but they go on about how, oh, we needed realism in this, you know, people wouldn't have been able to move around in outfits like this, yet she's literally worn outfits like this in TV shows in the past. Again, I really don't understand why she thought attacking Cowboy Bebop fans was going to be a good idea, but I wanted to also quickly show off the Rotten Tomato scores now, because they have gone down a little bit. The critic score is at a 49%, and the audience score is at a 52%. People do not like this show. People are really mixed about it. Uh, people are saying things like, as a massive fan of the original anime, who actually saw it back in the 90s, this live action was underwhelming. They changed so many little things and misinterpreted the original series' intentions so much that eventually it piled up and made it terrible for me. I was scared since it was announced, and with every casting choice and interview, I grew more wary of this series. I would have loved to be wrong and the show ended up being amazing, but it's not. Uh, people are saying things like, uh, John Cho made Spike fun in a unique way, so why not give it a go? Um, it can be a good jump off for people who watch the series and go back to visit the anime or manga. Um, the script needs improving, otherwise it was entertaining, just don't compare it too much to the anime. Uh, a couple of two star, three star, four stars, but a lot of one stars here. The overall feel and vibe of the show and the writing and acting are terrible and just off. It doesn't feel like Cowboy Bebop at all. It feels like a completely different IP, but that's just what happens when you choose not to consult or seek out the opinions and input of the original creator or any of the team behind the original. Besides that, all of the dialogue and acting are super goofy. It comes across as very forced and unnatural, and I think it's pretty fair to compare the acting to uh, acting in porn. It feels like they tried to act and mimic how voice actors and characters sound in the anime, which uh, the over-the-top dialogue and inflections typically of anime do not translate well to realistic live action, and I agree with most of this comment. As you can see, there's just a lot of people saying pretty negative things about it. Not a lot of five stars here saying, this is the best show I've ever seen. I do hope that uh, <laughs> going forward, we have actors attacking fans less, I'm gonna be honest. I think that Daniela Pineda wouldn't be as disliked as she was if she just simply wasn't attacking Cowboy Bebop fans. I don't think that she did a completely awful job as Faye in Cowboy Bebop because I do think that she did in some scenes nail Faye, but at the same time, if you watch the series, clearly they changed quite a bit about Faye. Um, 
and I'm not the biggest fan of the live action. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it, subscribe to the channel. If you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.